Solothurn is the venue for the third match in this season's Valley Cup in Switzerland as Swiss champions FC Basel take on Dutch counterparts PSV Eindhoven. Well, Basel in action less than 48 hours ago when they went down by three goals to one against Shakhtar Donetsk of Ukraine. This their second and final game in the competition which comes just over a week before they start the defence of the league title they won last campaign. PSV aren't in competitive action until August 2nd when they take on Groningen in the Dutch Super Cup. Philip Koku's side securing their place in the curtain raiser for the season by winning the league in the Netherlands for the first time since 2008. That team looks very different now. Memphis Depay gone to Manchester United and Jorginho Wijnaldum, the captain, has sealed his move to Newcastle United earlier today. Sandra Schaller. Shera rather is uh, the referee for today's encounter. Joran Zut, the uh, PSV goalkeeper, is their captain and captain for the day. Refsi Basel, Manaksuki, the Czech international. Well, it's a whole new team compared to the one that uh, took the lead through Mark Janko goal against Shakhtar on Thursday before conceding three. Top scorer, Schelsen Gashi, top scorer in the Swiss Super League last season, is in the starting lineup for FC Basel. The new signing, Simon Poulsen, on the bench for PSV, as is uh, Luciano Narsing, who chipped in with a few goals last season for the Dutch side. Philippe Koku, the man who led them to their 22nd Dutch league title last season on the bench for PSV. New Basel coach this season is Urs Fischer. Change of jersey for FC Basel today, who are playing in white and playing from right to left in this first half. This preseason match taking place just an hour or so down the road from Basel in northern Switzerland. PSV Eindhoven based in France. Evian for a pre-season training camp and they'll face Lyon in their second match in the Valet Cup next week on Wednesday. FC Sion, the Swiss Cup winners, the hosts of this tournament. Sion, the capital of the Valet Canton in Switzerland and they'll be in action in the second game in this competition later today. And they face the French League runners-up, Olympique Lyonnais. It's Basel on the attack for the moment against PSV Eindhoven of the Netherlands. There's Fischer ringing the changes for this game then. Uh, the men brought in. Milan Bolo has won his side a corner. The man wearing uh, number 36 for Basel, an 18 year old born in Cameroon. Got a Swiss citizenship in uh, December 2014. Luca Zuffi with the left footed corner kick. Important header away. 
And a youngster on the uh, PSV side with that headed clearance. Just 17 years old, the man wearing number 10, Nikolai Larsen. Larsen brought in from Bronby this summer. And Philip Koku's side will go straight into the Champions League group stages. Zut comes to claim the corner kick and looks to get the Dutch side on the attack and Jürgen Lacadia wins the free kick. Yuichiro Kakitani with the foul. PSV will be looking forward to the draw for the group stages in the Champions League on August 27th. Got a boost ahead of that as well with uh, Barcelona and Juventus getting to, to the final. That meant that PSV ended up as first seeds for this season's competition. Anyway, for changing things around. So the uh, defending champions and the League winners from the seven highest ranking leagues would go into the uh, bowl for the uh, number one seeds. That meaning the likes of Real Madrid and Arsenal are only second seeds this season. Basel were in the uh, Champions League group stages themselves last season, but this time having to go through the qualifiers. They are seeded for the third qualifying round of the Champions League, going the Champions route as league winners, so it should be a little bit easier in theory to uh, progress to the group stages. Another round to come after that though, if they get through. Talon Schacke now getting forward for Basel. Deep cross, headed away at the back post. Pass through from Mbolo was blocked down. And another foul. Another free kick goes PSV's way. This time it was uh, Jacka, brother of the Borussia Mönchengladbach player, Granit Jacka, who uh, committed the foul. Hendricks now. Sent long, a little too long that time. down the defence nicely. Poor touch from Mbolo. There's Joshua Brennan in. And the fullback has it again. Skips inside his man. Good switch of the play from PSV. Calls for it and gets it. Now it's Larson. Oh, 
gashing it. Suki. Fires it out to Bedang Safari. Swedish international. And the number 19 has it again. 30 year old gets it on to Mbolo. Gets ahead of Brennett, but. PSV fullback does well. Well judged challenge. Safari. Larson tracking back. Cashy inside to Xhaka. Mohamed Eleni. Playing it back to Daniel Hook. And now Suki, the captain for the day. Basel have announced who their new captain for the season will be. Matias Delgado, the Argentine midfielder, injured for this game. Announced as uh, the new captain of the Swiss club on Friday. Replacing uh, Marco Streller, who retired this summer, the uh, veteran striker. Delgado about to enter his sixth season at the club, having played there between 2003 and 2006 and returning in 2013. The pass from Kakitani doesn't come off that time. And Stein Skars has it for PSV. That's Nicola Izimat Marine, rather, the uh, French defender who signed on a permanent deal over the summer, had been on loan from Monaco. He finds Brennett, who sends it back to the captain. And Zot. Marcel Ritzmeyer is the left back today for. PSV. Nice turn from Scars. And a good ball, too, for Larson. No foul, the call. None committed, but Larson doing well to win a corner kick in the end. Worked himself into a corner, but got something out of it. Safari and Gashi, the men watching the youngster. First corner for PSV then. Deep one, which uh, Hendrix should keep in play, but doesn't. And he has to chase back to his uh, defensive position now. The man who won the Euro Under-17 Championships in 2012 with uh, the Netherlands. PSV defender scored a penalty in a shootout win over Germany in the final. Good run here from Zufi. Oh, 
just laid it inside looking for Xhaka, who's reacted well to win it back. Gashina. Safari, the former Anderlecht man, plays it back inside and strong tackle that time. Rive Lutt. Better build up play from Basel. Another corner kick. Oh, the locals responding to that. Nice run off the shoulder from uh, Brilimbolo. Hendricks across the block. Plenty of pace on the corner. Really well delivered, and it was Lang. He scuffed his shot in the end. He shrugged off Larson and couldn't apply the finish. PSV missing a few players from last season's team. Internationals return to training on Monday. Depay having already departed for Manchester United. Jorginho Vinaldum, the uh, club captain, leaving the training camp to go and seal his 14 and a half million pounds move to Newcastle United in the English Premier League. Santiago Arias is uh, still enjoying a break after his uh, exploits with. Colombia in the Copa America. And Andres Guardado, the Mexican midfielder who uh, signed from Valencia on a permanent deal in the summer. And he's involved with Mexico at the Gold Cup. Scored a goal in their 6 0 win over Cuba. PSV enjoying a great season last time out, winning the league by 17 points, 29 wins in 34 league matches in the Netherlands, 92 goals scored. Ajax, a distant second. Basel also league winners for the sixth time in succession. 12 points clear of young boys. And then Ina, the Egyptian in midfield for the Swiss champions. Nice header on from Gashi for Xhaka. It opened up for him, but didn't want to use his left foot. Does well. Another chance goes a begging for FC Basel. Looked like the chance was gone. Larson tracking back well, but Xhaka not giving up and turned over in the end. A 
that's own Daniel Hook. Went through the back of uh, Lucardi. Nice layoff from Lucardi at that time. And he gets the return pass as well. He's in an offside position, though. Poor call, though. Oh, the assistant referee. Pass for Gashi to chase, but Brennett was quicker too at that time. He's done well so far, the 21 year old graduate from the Youth Academy at the uh, Dutch Club. And he gets his foot in again to deny Mbolo. So if he's ball in, a good one again. And once again, it was Lang who was on the end of it. Looked in vain to the referee, felt he was being fouled on that occasion. Great pace on the corner. And Lang with his second good chance of the game. Swiss international who signed from Grasshopper. After his contract expired there in June. Gashi in a more central role now. Lang has it. Lead off for Kakitani. She was lurking if there was a, a spill that time from Zut. <laughs> Not the best of clearances. A strike on target, but without uh, too much power behind it. Causing problems. Well, the referee thought about it and he's awarded a penalty. <laughs> Hendricks looks bemused, but let's see Basel will have a spot kick. High foot from uh, the PSV defender Mbolo shrugging off Izzy Matmarine a little too easily. And the decision goes the way of the Swiss champions. Slotted home. Nicely from the penalty spot, and Basel have the lead. Their top scorer from last season, the top scorer in the Swiss Super League last season, with 22 goals in 31 matches. Schkels and Gashi has got it. A clumsy challenge, a composed finish. 1-0 FC Basel. Albanian international 
He's had a couple of great seasons in Switzerland of late. 19 goals two years ago for Grasshopper. That earned him a move to Basel and he hasn't looked back. A little earlier last time out on Thursday, Mark Janko, the Austrian international, getting them an early goal in that game. And midway through the first half, they've uh, been the uh, thinner side, the sharper side, as you'd expect as well with uh, the league campaign just around the corner. Start out against Vaduz on uh, Sunday week. PSV not in league action until August 8th against uh, Ado Den Haag, the team that finished 13th in the Dutch Eredivisie last season, the team that PSV beat by three goals to two on the final day of the last campaign. chases again he's done well free man here he should have taken advantage it's Kakitani with the chance great work once again from Mbolo Ritzmeyer caught out Kakatani, the Japanese international, looking to curl it in with the outside of his foot. Missed the target. It is pretty hot out there. Time for a water break. It's the third match of five in the Valet Cup. Five-team tournament. FC Sion winning 3-2 against Shakhtar Donetsk on Tuesday before Shakhtar beat Basel on Thursday. Sion face Leon in their final game shortly after this one this evening. And then PSV meet Leon in France across the border in Annecy next Wednesday. Start to this game then for Shkels and Gashi. Sending Zut the wrong way from the uh, penalty spot, and uh, things have been going quite well for him in recent months. Came off the bench to get a winner for Albania in their uh, Euro 2016 qualifier against Armenia back in March. But the 24-year-old PSV keeper played 32 league matches for them last season. They face some extra competition this time around. It's PSV signing a new keep goalkeeper, rather. 21-year-old Luke Kupmans. PSV fan from childhood, coming in from lower league FC Os. And for the future, more than likely. Rimko Pasver is uh, on the bench for PSV today, 31-year-old. Thank you. 
Hendricks, who conceded the penalty. Each in front of him, so uh, he goes sideways and Zimat Marine forced backwards. All a bit slow and sluggish from PSV Eindhoven so far. Still getting used to not having uh, Memphis Depay and Jorginho Wijnaldum around. Depay, the top scorer in the Dutch league last season with 22 goals. Wijnaldum, the longest serving member of the first team at 24 years old. He finished with 14 goals in 33 matches last season. And the pass from Mbolo was overhit. Is it? Certainly the uh, busier of the two keepers. Uh, I don't remember the Basel keeper being tested at all in this game. And he has some work to do now. Thomas Vashlik, 26-year-old Czech international, joined from Sparta Prague in the summer of 2014 on a four-year deal. an hour gone, PSV not making much headway so far. Switches the play to Brennan. Shaka scrapping away. Zimat Marin away for PSV. Don't come Basel again. Lang. Skips back inside. forward well the right back but not the best of crosses that time and this just uh, PSV's second friendly so far they won 6-0 against the Dutch amateur side SV Dosko 6-0 at the weekend Man, there arrived Lot. One of the goals in that game. Haven't seen too much of him so far. PSV number 23. Nikolai Larsen also on the mark at the weekend. Good work from Zuffi. Can he pick out a Basel player? Well held in the end by Zut. And went all the way through to Mohamed El Neni. PSV counter attack was checked. Illegally so. We have a 
haven't seen too much of uh, Stephen Birkin. Player of the Year in 2014, the Golden Player, as it's called, in the 2014 Under-17 European Championships. Another teenager down the right for PSV he was uh, stopped in his tracks that time. Nikolai Larsen. Suki with the challenge. Brennett forward for this corner kick. Good header off the bar. We have it again. Uh, looking to jam across the way, and in the end, he fells his man. Zimbolo who went down. Mayer's corner kick. Good leap at the back post. I think it was arrived lot. Schlick slices his clearance, gets away with it though. Not the first effort on goal from PSV. Basel with seven attempts. After 35 minutes of this game. Ritzmeyer now. Hendricks invited into opposition territory. Scars into feet. Nice one too. Almost an opening. Out Brennan. Has to be quick and is to get around Gashi. Maher. Now a chance. The double drag back. And the save from Ratchlik. Here's Bergren with the opportunity. Lovely ball through, no offside this time, around the keeper, and second time lucky for Steven Bergman. PSV level after 37 minutes. Much more like it from the Dutch champions. Beautiful pass threaded through by Maher. How about that for a cool finish? Easily ran the keeper, Bergman. That's the goal for PSV. Looked in control. PSV finally coming awake and uh, almost got caught napping at the back. Bolo denied by the offside flag. Tight call.
Skaus. Back for Hendricks again, who's probably seen more of the ball than any PSV player in this first half. Skaus goes again. Signed from Sporting in the summer of 2013. Clearance from Safari and another corner kick for PSV Eindhoven, who are certainly growing into this game now. And Brennan has done his fair share of defending, raiding into opposition territory that time. And a good corner. Good hit as well. Baselman in the way. Can they hit on the counter quickly? The bounce does in favor. Kakitani. And, uh, he didn't pass to the man in support. Gashi made hard yards there. Egyptian finds Gashi Bolo for Shaka. <laughs> Patient build up from Basel. Time winners of the Swiss League looking to get their noses back in front. They'll have to settle for a corner. No way through. Easy Matt Marine that time for Mbolo. Puch is up from the back for this one. Fifth corner for the Swiss side. Another good delivery. Well defended. And then he keeps it alive. First time cross. Brennett doing well yet again at the back post. Gets away from Zoffi. Larson just about keeps it in play, but he had Safari snapping at his ankles. And PSV never afraid to throw youngsters into the action. Larson, the number 10, signing on a three year deal in the summer. He thought to be around a million euros. 17 year old had one year left on his deal at Bromby. Felt it was time to move to a bigger European club. Here he is now. And he scored in his league debut in April. Only on the field for six minutes. Not one of three appearances he made last season. for Vlot. Bolo working hard. He's been impressive in this first half. No surprise, he's been capped by Switzerland already. Safari. His cross cut out. Good play from Larson again. Okay. 
Oh gosh, he got the goal. He's worked hard in this first half. Looking tired. Tough conditions, but only uh, a handful of substitutes on the bench. Six for PSG. PSV, rather. And seven for uh, Basel. Pass over hit straight through Vachlik. Shaka, international teammate of uh, Gashi with Albania. Vachlik made that one good save right before the goal. Not much he could do about PSV's equaliser in the end. Good ball down the right. Zuffi for Lang. Mbolo is in the middle, and Mbolo scores. Right on half time, Basel regained the lead. And it's one of their most impressive performers in this first half, Brilan Mbolo, who's got it. Great ball to open up PSV down the right. A lovely cross as well for Mbolo to finish from Lang. Zutton couldn't get there. And a nice boost for Basel. Right before the interval. Ten goals in 27 matches in the league for Mbolo last season. Won't be 19 until February. of injury time to be played taking account of that water break here's Larson Safari does well and Lang they made the second goal Just uh, slowing things down for Basel. And they'll uh, get a chance to get out of the heat for 15 minutes. And Lang creating the second for the man who created the first, winning the penalty. Gashi putting Basel ahead from the spot. Bergwijn responding for PSV before Mbolo's fine finish. So a great move. Let's put Basel back in front at the break. PSV won. Basel 2.
that time in the Valet Cup match between PSV Eindhoven and FC Basel. And it's the Swiss side who've kept the locals happy here in Solothurn. They lead by two goals to one. With the second half just about to get underway. A couple of very young fans watching the action. A couple of teenagers have uh, been the standouts in this game. Steven Bergwijn equalizing for PSV. And uh, right on halftime, that man there, Breelin Bolo, 18-year-old, got the lead goal for Basel. Swentley Alberto is on for PSV. Second half gets underway then with the Dutch champions PSV Eindhoven playing in red and white and from right to left in this second half and an early touch for the new defender on 19 year old Alberto. Devise has made it on as well at left back for PSV, wearing three. PSV starting with the uh, same 11 that played in their only pre season friendly match to date. Philip Koku giving that lineup another run out in the opening 45 here. Alberto under pressure. pays off for Basel eventually. Well, they don't keep possession for very long, but Katani was in well to win it back. A good challenge from Devise. Very fine. Hooked up into the air. Uh, hold up this for an injury. Hopefully not too serious. It's the goal scorer for PSV, Berkman, who uh, needs the magic spray. Just got caught. Well, Lenny, I think it was. Can't spot any Basel changes for the moment. So, uh, Hook still at the back for them, and Hook uh, back on for PSV. This confirmation of the uh, substitution for PSV. Adam Maher going off. Lot now. Ritzmeyer off as well for uh, Alberto. So Ritzmeyer was at left back. Straight swap with uh, Devise replacing him. Dutch international midfielder going off. Bit thin on the ground in midfield at the moment, PSV, with uh, Oscar Hilliamark, the uh, 
captain of the Swedish side that just won the European Under-21 Championships, set to leave for Palermo in Italy. Never quite forced his way into uh, the PSV lineup. to bring in uh, Vitesse Arnhem midfielder Davy Proffer. And if they've sold Wijnaldum to Newcastle United. He's feeling linked with uh, the move for Dutch International who scored five in 38 last season for Vitesse. making a new signing during the week with uh, Birke Bjarnason, the Icelandic international, coming in. Not involved today, but he has enjoyed himself against teams from the Netherlands in the recent past, with uh, Iceland topping their Euro 2016 group ahead of the Netherlands. The Dutch five points behind Iceland, three points behind the Czech Republic, and just two ahead of Turkey in that group. The Netherlands did beat Latvia 2 0 away in June. Van Alden and uh, another PSV player is on the bench today, Luciano Narsing, scoring for the Dutch in that game. Metro Willems and the recently departed Memphis Depay started the game for the Netherlands. Vlot now. Overcooks that pass. The second half taking a while to get going. First half did as well. Very fine. Chop down. Jacques admits the foul this time. Jacker with the foul. Sounds like they've made a change in midfield. Basel with uh, Mohamed El Nani's name mentioned. Here's a free kick for PSV though, deflected just behind. It was Jurgen Lucania with the strike on goal. Under 21 international joined from Willem Tway. And the keeper's come a long way. Just about does enough. Klatschlik. Not the tallest of keepers. from Ostrava. Many <laughs> still on and uh, looking to make things tick over for Basel.
second ball up. Very late decision that. Not sure it was the right one either. Tight call. Goes against him, bowl up. And there's the flick on, in fact. Either way. Chance for PSV to relieve the pressure, but Gashi looking to put it back on now. Lang. Scrapping well for possession, the Swiss side. And Bolo gets in behind. May go himself here. Oh, elected to cross. Luca Zuffi arriving late, but not a good chance created by Breland Bolo. And certainly adds. Uh, his man for pace there, Swentley, Alberto. Molo continues to impress in this game then. Composure from Lang, knew he had time. Danny Hook now. Pass behind Xhaka that time. Shkars. That's it back for PSV. Bolo, his pace causing all sorts of problems again. Was caught late, but he fell. He was committed by Mbolo. Alberto <laughs> struggling. And then the uh, challenge came in from Jordi De Vies. Fine. To face. with men forward now. Attack breaks down. So far, so good for who is Fisher's side. Men who won four caps for Switzerland in his time as a player. Basel coach taking over from uh, Palo Sosa, who's left for Fiorentina. Maybe Champions League last 16 last season. And Bolo, and he'll look to feature in the Champions League this season. Wouldn't look out of place. Again, running off the shoulder. And uh, may have been caught between trying to control that one and cheekily lobbing it over the keeper. Did feature in uh, all of Basel's Champions League games last season. Scored one in a 4-0 win over Ludogorets of Bulgaria. Well, the season before last as well, Basel under uh, Murat Yakin, their former central defender. Yakin leading Basel to the semi finals of the Europa League two years ago. Left to coach Spartak Moscow, but only lasted one season there. 
And they finished sixth in the league. 23 points behind Zenit St. Petersburg, who did for PSV Eindhoven in the Europa League last 32 last season. And the pass doesn't find its way through to Gashi this time. Struggling to clear PSV. Does a look in the mood and plenty of competition for places in this Basel squad ahead of the new season. Stravko Kuzmanovic coming in from Inter Milan, not involved today. Mark Yanko. Daniel Hook at the back from Odense as uh, Luciano Narsin comes on for Nikolai Larsson, who's showing quite well in this game in the first half over on the right side. A name to remember, just 17 years old. Here, Kania went near post across over his head. Bergwijn's cross charged down by uh, another of the Basel new men this season. Michael Lang. forward for the corner doesn't beat the man on the near post a strong challenge and he has a bit of everything this youngster like catching display and attack and uh, Breland Bolo and born in Yaoundé in Cameroon a real asset to Basel just 18 years of age and he's sure to be an asset for Switzerland going forward as well. He made his debut for the Swiss national side just three months after getting Swiss citizenship. March 2015, came on as a sub in a one-all draw with the United States. Lang for Xhaka. Another corner kick for Basel, who are making PSV suffer in the heat for the moment. <laughs> Lang had a couple of chances from set pieces in the first half. Again, it'll be Luca Zoffi to swing it in left footed. Son of a former Basel attacking midfielder, Dario. Zut comes, gets enough on it. Kakatani now. Still loose and fired over by Zofi. Oh, good corner in the first instance. Keeper clawed it away and Kakatani taking on Lacadia. Bit of a mismatch there. The vase with a good header away, but only as far as Zofi. Couldn't quite get his knee over it. 
25 year old signs last summer on a three year deal from uh, Thun. Great left foot on him. Five goals in 29 league matches in his first season for Basel. Lacani looking to flick on. Didn't get the touch required. Danny loses it. Looks to win it back immediately. Fells his man instead. Basel's number 14. He's got three goals in 14 league matches in his first season. Four and three in the cup. Joined last summer from Osaka in his homeland. Zuffi, Shaka, Lang, charging forward from right back. He gets it eventually. Shaka, who extended his contract in January, will be at the club until the summer of 2018. Doing a tiny job in midfield for Basel today. Javisna, 20 year old left back for PSV. something here. Decent run, but no end products. Narsing just on the field. Still getting a feel for the game. Number 11 scored his fair share of goals last season. Six in the league. And he signs from Herrenveen in the summer of 2012 for 4 million euros. <laughs> Bergwijn wins another free kick. Midway through the second half and he's still causing problems for Lang. Time for another water break then. PSV at the moment not looking likely to get back level. For the second time in this game. And Basel without a few First team players looking pretty comfortable. They face Bayer Leverkusen on Wednesday before their opening Swiss League match. And Grasshopper in their second game. Fadu's first up. And the third will be against 
one of the teams involved in this Valet Cup tournament. Third Swiss League match for Basel against Sion at home on Saturday, August 1st. Sion playing Lyon at 7.45 local time tonight. BSV get things going again. Basel pressing high up the pitch. It's proved effective so far in the second half. Scarce under pressure. Not happy with the decision either. Good work from Zaka. that a throw-in will do. Side flag is up against Basel. Frustrating afternoon so far for PSV. I bought the Dutch uh, underage international. And the foul this time. Basel had 52% of possession in the first half, but I expect that figure is a little higher in the second. Not quite as many efforts on goal. Eight shots in the opening 45 for the Swiss side, five on target. Happy to control the play for the moment. Academy. <laughs> Difficult for PSV to replicate their achievements of last season. Winning the league, that was a big one. It's 4 0 to Zenit in the Europa League last 32 after coming second in their group behind Dinamo Moscow. Lost in the last 16 of the Dutch Cup at Rhoda JC. Making a couple more changes on the Dutch side. Clint Lehmann's coming on. Stein Scars, the man to make way. Only won uh, his second Dutch league title last season, having won one with AZ Alkmaar. Here's a former teammate of his at AZ, Simon Poulsen, coming on. 
new signing for PSV. And uh, the man we saw in Basel's first game on Thursday, Robin Husser. He's on for the last 16 minutes or so as well. Jaka, the man to go off after uh, an energetic performance in central midfield. the other man to go off. As Paulson comes on. He's charging down the left net. A round of applause for Robin Hooser. Very young player to uh, come on for Basel. These are just 17 years old. Won't turn 18 until uh, late January of next year. Paulson's ball on. And a play, though. Signed on a free transfer last month, reunited with uh, Scars and Adam Maher, both former AZ players. Pilsen signing on a two-year deal. Joined AZ in 2008 before moving to Sampdoria in 2012 and then spent last season with AZ Alkmaar again. Thirty years old now. PSV number fourteen. Zuffi's throwing. Composed in midfield as well. Basel number 33 gets it again. Two goals in 30 matches for Egypt. Mbolo driving at the defense. And the offside flag is up again. Kakitani unhappy. skill from the Japanese player earlier on. Yolith Hendricks playing further up the pitch net in the second half. Gashi, good pace and he's chopped down by Hendricks. Gashi didn't appreciate the challenge. Yellow card for the PSV player. First yellow of the game goes to the 20 year old. Done for pace. Sent off in the Dutch league last season for two yellow cards. 20 appearances for uh, 
Jonet Hendricks in the Eredivisie last season, hoping to build on it this time around as uh, the man who scored from the penalty spot accepts the applause of the crowd. He's being substituted, Skelson Gashi. Adide Kala coming on. And the other goal scorer goes off as well. And the star man today, Breelin Bolo. 18-year-old replaced by another 18-year-old. Robin Ajeti. Free kick fired in. Fired wide. And then he hit it. He had one strike on goal in the first half. Basel looking comfortable with uh, 10 minutes to go here. Lehman calls for it and gets it. Lovely ball through. Now a chance for PSV. Out of nowhere. And they take it. Two substitutes combining. Lehmans for Luciano Narsing. And the commentator's curse strikes again. Urs Fischer's Basel. Have been pegged back for the second time in this game. Beautiful first time pass from Lehmans. And just like the first goal, Vashlik was rounded and slotted home by Narsing. Well, they haven't had much of the play, PSV, but they have been clinical. Not too many clear opportunities for them, but taken the ones that they were afforded. Another change on the way then. It's uh, Adama Traore. He's coming on. And Benang Safari coming off. Swedish international makes way for uh, a man from the Cote d'Ivoire. Sides could meet again in the Champions League later this season. Basel negotiate the qualifying rounds. Good workout this tournament with uh, Shakhtar Donetsk, Basel's first opponents, also in the Champions League. Qualifying rounds and PSV's second opponents next week, Leon. Also in the group stages. <laughs> Alberto steps out of defense. Slack pass from him, though. Davide Callen. Oh. 
31 year old gets it back from Phil Nenny. Gives it back to the number 33 and Marek Traore started against Shakhtar Donetsk. Runs it out of play there. And there's the equaliser again. Makes it look very easy, nursing. And uh, Clint Lehman's getting plenty of plaudits as well. It was his pass through that created that goal. Philip Koku will be happy with uh, the impact the 19-year-old has made since coming on. Didn't take him long. Needless to say, another player capped at underage level by the Netherlands. And he was tracking back there. It was Hendricks who committed the foul in the end. As I mentioned, it's building slowly for that Dutch Super Cup against uh, Groningen, who bit, beats Wallet in the Dutch Cup final. Those two sides meet in the Super Cup on August 2nd, and again two weeks later in the league. A couple of big games for PSV early in the season, home to Feyenoord on August 30th. Champions League the group stages get underway mid-September. October 4th, and away to Ajax in the league. <laughs> Good strength from uh, Izzy Matt Marine. Lost a couple of big players. Made sure to get Izzy Matt Marine on a permanent deal in the summer. Four year deal. And he made his name at Valenciennes before joining Monaco. Lucas Ufi's deliveries have been very good indeed throughout this game. He's going to be held up. This time, though, as uh, Lakanji comes on for Michael Lang. Former grasshopper man gets uh, a round of applause from his new supporters. As uh, Lakanji comes in. Fired over really well again from uh, Luca Zuffi. The Yeti, the substitute. He couldn't quite turn that in. The Kanji also started against Shakhtar on Thursday. Slot in it right back as uh, Traore gets forward from left back. <laughs> Hendricks over the top. The side flag is up. PSV also missing uh, Luke Tiong today. 
Depay, the top scorer with 22 in the Dutch league last season. Luke de Jong got 20. And uh, Mikalia not making too much of an impact up front in this game. looking to steal it at the death, but a more attack perhaps for Basel. Kanji. Who's there? And Kanji again. so far from the uh, Swiss champions as I say that Zimat Marin stepped out of the fence to snuff out that attack and plenty to admire for Rose Fisher and Philip Koku, plenty to work on as well for both managers in the coming weeks. And one last friendly for Basel against uh, top opposition in Bayer Leverkusen on Wednesday. Just three minutes of injury time to play then. Pulson calls for it. Vlot. Well, over hits the pass again. And plenty of rebuilding work to be done by Philip Koku. This season, after Depay and Wijnaldum's departures. Koku, of course, enjoying a great run with PSV in uh, 2005 Champions League as a player. Bringing it all the way to the semi finals. Koku scoring a couple of goals in the second leg against Milan, but they lost out in away goals. PSV, European Cup winners once back in 1988. Back in the Champions League this season, of course. And first seed's a real boost. Hoping for a favourable draw. And decent workout for PSV and Basel as uh, they prepare for the Champions League later in the season. Final goal to come. Treore for Basel net. Good ball. Nicely done. Nicely finished off, and they do win it. Right at the dead. It's Davide Kala. Thirty seconds to be played, and PSV concede for the third time. Last kick of the game as well. Great play from Treoli. <laughs> Lovely pass for Kakitani. The cutback was good. And a simple finish in the end for Kala. Fine way for Basel to finish the Valley Cup. 
And preparations for the league season continue. Leverkusen on Wednesday, then that league opener on Sunday week against Vaduz. Well, they've uh, finally seen off PSV. Gashi and Bolo and Davide Kala with the goals. Bergwijn and Narsing for PSV. But the Dutch side lose out on this occasion. The Swiss champions have beaten the Dutch champions. PSV 2, FC Basel 3.